You have definitely not been sanguine about this topic. I mean, there's no doubt. No. But we are sanguine, looking forward to this next year and looking at a potential half a billion dollar infrastructure deal. And here's why. Okay, why? Uh, because every year we go down to D.C. and I interview people and say, we're going to get this infrastructure deal. And they say, yes, and nothing has happened. Well, it's a little bit like Shark Week. Is it going to be Infrastructure Week? And so Infrastructure Week was starting last week when news really came out flowing through for infrastructure. But here's why you have to. Uh, elections have passed. And both Democrats and Republicans have to show they can actually get something done because you have the big elections looming forward. And so with that, DeFazio, who is the head of Transportation Infrastructure Committee, has come out with some reasonable options to help fund this infrastructure bill. You know, the key thing is everyone supports infrastructure, but it's just how do you fund it? So, okay, because, well, first off, we need an operating government, I assume, to get that done. Assuming the government right. will at some point reopen yep. here. All we hear about is so much other stuff besides infrastructure. So what you're saying is, if I'm hearing you right, Catherine, is that there are some wheels grinding behind the scenes. Absolutely. Um, one of the key things is the federal highway bill, which is a multi-year, six-year program, will uh, come to a close in 2020. So you have to really, as part of the reauthorization of that bill, you really need an infrastructure bill. And when you do that, you really have to focus on the fundamentals, which is funding it. Now, the most popular, the, the, uh, the, the point that both Trump has supported um, and that the head of the transportation infrastructure has uh, supported is a gas tax. Um, the gas tax hasn't been increased since 1993. Uh, we've had 65 percent inflation. Um, what is being proposed to shore that $16 billion um, uh, gap is a, a penny and a half. Uh, increase in tax. You think that's politically palatable? I mean, the two most dangerous words in politics might just be gas tax. Yeah, or no new taxes. Yeah, which is, read my lips. Yeah, read my lips. Um, but to your point, that 18 and a half whatever cent gas tax with, with inflation is now effectively 12 cents. It's not enough to even cover the cost of yep. just the continued program. Well, I mean, we're literally going to be driving on gravel roads. Pretty, pretty close, but here's the catch. Um, what the Fed hasn't been able to do, states are doing. So states uh, have gotten... We are a federalist republic, are we not? Well, we're States do have some power. So are you saying, Catherine, that, that the state, if the federal government can't get their act together, yep. that the states might be able to do this? Goes back to states' rights. So what you've seen over the past um, 31 states since 2012 have passed significant increases in funding. And I'm not talking about a 10% or even a 15% increase in funding. In some cases, it's been a doubling or a 100 or 200 percent increase in overall funding. And what they've done is they've been creative about funding. It's not necessarily, I'm going to increase the gas tax. They'll come up with a different menu of items, or they'll take advantage of certain assets in their states. So if you look at a state like Georgia, mm -hmm. who's really diversified their revenues, they, they switch from a retail tax to an excise tax for gas tax. They have a hotel tax. They have a... a fee on electric vehicles, they have a billboard tax. And so once you get an array of different um, revenue options, that really structurally changes. So, so if you look at pre and post, just in the state of Georgia, that funding, you have an overall just structural uh -huh. change by 50%. Okay, let's say DeFazio's bill does somehow get through. I mean, in this yep. day and age, who knows? Maybe a coup, who knows? If it does, 500 million bucks. Yep. Not a lot of money, but, but enough. Where would that go? What are the priorities on the federal side? Uh, well, first would be highway and transit. Uh, then you would look at waterways and also airports. If you look at the, the airport system and anyone who flies even a hey, by the way, you live in Nashville. Welcome to, where'd you fly into? LaGuardia? Uh, yes, yes. Good luck. Yeah, what do you think? Um, so now they are uh, building it to be fair they have not that's a sign that you can get something done i suppose well, it looks a little less third world so that's second that, world maybe yes we're there so um but you've got multi-billion projects in uh lex jfk is going to be starting up laguardia nashville where we're based i mean the nashville project won't be even finished till 2026 just in terms of the magnitude on waterways, you're seeing significant um, infrastructure build out along the Gulf in the southeast with the widening of the Panama Canal. Because with the, sh the ships that are coming, the post Panama ships, are carry two and a half t times the amount of goods as the pre um, with the. That's why canal. we've been to these ports and talked about dredging. That's why they got to make them deeper in Charleston and exactly. Savannah and New York because these ships are so huge 
they become deep and they need to get in. Where are the macro investing themes? Where, if, if you're right, let's say we get a deal. Yep. Who's going to profit? Where, where, where are the ways to make money off of infrastructure optimism? Yep. Well, you have to, if you look at um, just basic materials to build a road, you look at aggregate companies, concrete companies, companies that make asphalt roads. So if you, if you look at that, it would be like Vulcan Materials, Martin Marietta Materials, Summit Materials. Um, U.S. Concrete is a lar one of the largest uh, concrete producers in the U.S. So a lot of the basic materials. Um, once you get into waterways, you've got uh, Great, Lake, Great Lakes Stretch, GLDD. Um, so there's a, there's a really, you've got to think about both in the materials and then on the um, services side. Another company I would throw out is Granite Construction, mm -hmm. ticker symbol GBA, which does a little bit of both. So, but I think where you're going to get the most bang for the buck, where most of the dollars are going to be spent, is on more in the surface. So whether it's going to be roads or rail, you got to use rock, you got to use concrete, and you got to use asphalt. Well, a lot of us here in New Jersey and my car also hope that you are correct, that we can yes. get something done.